I don't feel like I'm a videographer. That's why maybe I have this imposter syndrome because I'm doing videography for my job. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't feel like I'm a videographer. Oh, well, you are. I enjoy the process of doing interviews. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the process of connecting with people and asking them questions and learning more about them. And I, I think I'm good at making them comfortable during the interview. Mm -hmm. So it was good. Uh, but I'm not the techie person. I yeah. don't know anything about it. <laughs> You get on YouTube much? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's so how you've learned most of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you start off with? Like as far as like what were you filming with to start off with? We bought like when we had a baby, we bought Canon EOS, um, like a T seven I or something no, or something. It was even simple. It was something like T three. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. T three. Did you buy it like uh, used, like a T three I? No, it was new. Oh. But it was 2011. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. we had it. I was thinking way more recently. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had it later. We bought it in 2011 and I started to do interviews in 2016. Mm -hmm. So I just took that camera. That's the only. Well, it's still, yeah, it shoots yeah. decent, yeah. You can, <laughs> then you can then I bought iPhone and I started to film on my iPhone because it was way better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the newest iPhone is going to look a little better than the, yeah. the old Canon. T3i, yeah. which is, and know. I edited the videos with iMovie. Yeah, yeah, that's so. Mm -hmm. I, I started a um, had a YouTube channel for a little bit where I was doing like car stuff because mm -hmm. I had a a car that I was very happy about at the time. Um, and that's all I was doing. This is before I ever started anything like with photography or videography. So I was just doing everything with my phone mm -hmm. and um, iMovie. You can, I mean, that's how a lot of people start out. I'm so thankful for people who, first of all, agreed to do interviews. Mm -hmm. And then when I showed up with my iPhone and tripod, they <clears throat> didn't say anything. Like, they didn't look surprised. They no. didn't have any attitude or anything. They were super helpful, super, and un they understand everything. Like, mm -hmm. I am so thankful for this. Well, I saw, uh, I was on Dickinson Avenue. Um, Probably a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And I saw a, a WITN van or it was maybe some other new. I think it was WITN. I saw their van and I saw a reporter um, and she was setting up like a little ring light and just had a phone like what looked like an iPhone like 7 mm -hmm. or something. It shoots, 10, it shoots 1080 video and it looks fine. You mm -hmm. don't have to do anything to it really, you know, if all you're doing is what she was doing. Mm -hmm. So – that they show like reporters show up with just an iPhone and a, and a basic microphone and a little light, you know, just like a little light panel, like one of these or something. Oh, I didn't have microphone at first. Mm -hmm. I would just like ask everyone to be quiet, <laughs> turn the music <laughs> off. Can everyone shut up, please? Yeah. <laughs> turn your music off. Phones on vibrate. I'm doing something important over here. And when when I would film outside, it's like kind of compromised because you would have nice picture, nice yeah. lighting. But then every like all of a sudden someone will start to mow the grass yeah. or the helicopter is flying, so I had to compromise. Either I would have a good picture or mm -hmm. a good sound. I absolutely. <laughs> I mean, hate, good sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate <laughs> filming outside. Yeah, it's the worst, even with good microphones. No, I, I no, no, I like it. Yeah. Because I still have a good picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier with good microphones, but it can out people. It's louder outside than people realize. <laughs> like you know that because you're doing these interviews, and a lot of your interviews are outside, there, mm -hmm. right? And it's way louder outside than some people realize. Yeah. Um, when you pay attention to the detail, like right? Everything. Yeah, I had to <laughs> I had to shut down a maintenance crew on ECU's campus one day because I was shooting something for mm -hmm. ECU, and I like went over to one of the guys mowing grass. I was like, hey, um. Can you not do that for like thirty minutes? <laughs> and of course, they were they were like, "Yes, for sure, we can take a break." <laughs> you know, why not? Hey, hope you enjoyed that clip. Full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast are available on YouTube and wherever it is you get your podcasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Links in the description. We'll see you later.